Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. My new Wee Wee just arrived. The missus is gonna enjoy this one. Nice wee wee. You truly get what you pay for, in this case, a funny instruction manual. Be sure don't over tighten. Place wait here and test leak or not. Anywho, with your old faucet, you're gonna be looking at two nuts to remove and two water lines to remove, most likely. So let's start by turning off the hot and cold water supply and test to make sure both on the hot and the cold that no more water pressure is present. If you remember what this wrench is from, then you're a real one. Anyways, undo your water lines and discover how difficult it really is to remove plastic nuts in a tight space, so I fashioned this fancy tool out of one and a half inch PVC pipe and I just notched the end. Look at that chewed up butthole. It's done. Get out of here, butthole. Then you get to discover that the Gunga has actually gone Super Saiyan underneath and turned into Gunga Lunga. We will use a mildly abrasive pad to get rid of the rust scale and build up. So we can start with a clean slate so that the new Gunga can feel right at home. Then you do a little bit of a test fit. Luckily with this plate, you can hide any extra holes you may have. This thing works with just one hole. Installation is relatively straightforward. You place the rubber washer, the metallic washer, and then you screw down this big old thing, whatever you want to call it, mega nut, and it gets tightened to your sink basin. Then you'll be connecting your hot and cold water lines where you found them. There's no need for Teflon tape, they're compression fittings. They also provide you with this handy dandy wee wee stretching device. It's actually just a weight. You clip it onto the hose, and that's what will keep retracting your pull-out faucet. Test out your retractable wee-wee and make sure it smoothly goes back in. If it doesn't, there's probably an obstruction somewhere underneath your sink, and you need to re relocate the weight. Then turn on the water, check for leaks, and test out your brand new wee-wee. <laughs> Here I'm just making sure that it's actually water coming out of the wee wee and not something <clears throat> else. Ah, uh, the missus will be even happier to know that I'm also changing out my gagal. No. That was a gaga life or gagal? What the fuck? Anywho, got rid of the old hose and I plan to use this hole for the soap dispenser. Now this, this thing right here, your mileage may vary, but there's a nut underneath and I tried all kinds of sockets to get at it. Unfortunately, I wound up just cutting it with my Dremel with a right angle attachment. Horrific, I couldn't get it loose. Too much rusty gunga can truly be a bad thing. Anyways, there really isn't much to the soap dispenser, you just Put it in through the hole, and you tighten the nut on the other hand and secure it to your sink. They provide you with various bottle adapters, those rubber bushings, so you can use any sort of container fill with your favorite soap that you can dispense. Now look to your brand new Wee Wee and Gagal and enjoy them. Instant upgrade, under a hundred dollars, works great, looks great, no complaints here. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to go ahead and get matching Wee Wees with me. <laughs> but that's pretty much it for the kitchen saga. In the next video, I'm going to do a conclusion, the journey. The tiling, the floor, the appliances, the oven, painting, everything. Enjoy your easy life, and I'll see you next time.